friends and collective pile of cuties. I got Cali Bun Streams here. I got Yipweed and of course my ever faithful Mod Wheaty Bread. Thank you all for coming. Oh, why why don't I pop up here? Oh, I hear how about we Wow, head over to the hot tub. Woo! Woo, hot tub time. <laughs> I'm so glad I set up this hot tub like scene way back. It's just gotten it's way so more good. use than I ever thought. And frankly, this screen, I, I can show you where to get the add-on to do this with like pictures on OBS because there, there's like two add-ons. Ooh! Oh, <gasps> Hilltowns, yeah. thank you very much for following. Enjoy your, your showing of Morbius. It plays the entirety of Morbius up there. So have a nice time. <laughs> and feel free to listen to us blather. But, uh, oh, thank you, Bun, for, for calling upon the town of Hills. Yes, you're very welcome. Yifweed, I'm terribly sorry your coffin dance isn't going to happen until Morbius is over. <laughs> but oh, I will I take know. my sippy quickly. It's meant to be a jump scare. Oh, fair enough. I'll do my best to double think it away. Ah, there we go. Just, uh, just think about busting. I heard it makes me feel good. Da, 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 da. <laughs> but uh, this is going to be a, an excellent time. So, to I, I'll show you what's the, what's going on. This is a collaborative game, unlike the the previous Monster Prom games, which are sort of side by side competitive. It was only ever actually competitive if you both went for the same person. But it either way, even a multiplayer game in that was essentially just two single player games running next to each other. This one, however, is a, is a collaborative. very excited for this this is only my second of the series that i've played the last one was the camp one and i got rejected we're, we're gonna go with the the baseline experience because i'm not prepared for prank master difficulty <laughs> so road tripper true co-op player performance ranking at the end Whoa. and we'll go on a normal road trip it'll be fine Hold on, my hold on, my 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 things didn't hit in the right spots. The what? My tits. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm always doing my best not to actually use the phrase, turn of phrase, but that's what it is. Nope, always got to use the there phrase. Why wouldn't you? It's absolutely a resource management game, and that's what it is. So I would be oh happy to voice the narrator. It's the one that speaks the most, and I frankly love talking as the narrator. But uh, these are two main characters here that are going to be each speaking a lot. Ghost Polly and uh, Werewolf Scott. And uh, I, I, I think it'd be fun to get someone else to, to say But first, I would speak. Ah, the road, that mystical beast of asphalt. We once tamed it in what became one of the strangest, most beautiful journeys of our lives. Back then, when we were young and unafraid, I've realized a problem with my plan. I gotta, I gotta turn off push to talk. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Good luck. The bad news is for all of you, or the bad news is for all of you, you're going to hear me when I have to, have to, like, say dumb stuff, which is a lot. That's okay. I also say dumb stuff. So, Ow. Will, you can say dumb things together. Outstanding. The, the narrator's always slightly French at the start. It's so big. <laughs> of course. Please uh, set up uh, who face. else is streaming this today, by the way? I forgot to once. ask. Me. I've got I've got all your links. Weedy, no, go go look at Weedy too. Weedy Brett's awesome. I'm gonna do a shout People out right now. No, my deep deep desires. Yes, yeah. the story mode. <laughs> and of course, I'll shout everybody out again at the end. I'm sorry, Rob. That Damn was, you, Sly! Kind of... <laughs> Thank you. All right. That's what Sly does. Sly shows up and causes chaos. He's Just your little problem chaos. now. Chaos. Damn it. Do your best, Sly. I'm not afraid, I say at the start of the stream. Back then, we were young and unafraid. 
Summer was, hold on, uh, after after this no longer isn't a cutscene, I'm going to turn the audio back on. But I do have, I do have beach music playing on my background, though. Let me, let me, nah, no, nah, I can't. The whole Sly, thing that was found in... so weird out of context. <laughs> That's all the context we need. The whole thing was bound to go off the rails. This was the prank masters, after all. Scott Howell, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. And Polly Geist, 22, question mark, a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Each of them were, by themselves, an agent of chaos. But together, together, they were the perfect combo for hijinks to ensue. Who in their right mind would have agreed to join them on such a trip? And... So who is player one? I feel like probably you. Uh, yeah, I, I guess that's fair enough. That, um, I feel like that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that that parses, that parses. I think I'm going to go with classic fire girl. And I, you can take a custom name. Time to win at road tripping. Is that wizard kitty? There is Wizard Kitty indeed. Who shall oh, be player two? I'll take Wizard Kitty if no one. Oh, uh, all right, sure. Yipweed, you're going in as player two. You would you like the name Juan or to customize? Yip Wizard. Yip Wizard, it is. Juan. Technically, the official name is Yifumancer. <laughs> Sorry. It could be like a a yif lock. Absolutely. It doesn't have to be a Would, mancer. Oh, that's true. Or or a yif yif -verer. That <laughs> that that sounds like something different. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. Uh, would uh, which pronoun would you like to go with? Uh, she, please. There we go. The Juan and only. <gasps> the Juan. Oh, Revocat, thank you very much for following. Welcome, welcome. I'm Grizz. All right, Weedy, go uh, ahead. You pick next. Yep. Okay, Weedy. Then you're you're third. We have Moth Girl. We have Eldrick Horror. We have this guy, who I believe is like part of this guy's deal. You know what? Let Let's go with. Let's go with the Eldritch Horror. Eldritch yeah. Horror it is. So this is Zoe. Would you like to use Zoe or custom name? Eh. Eh. Let's put Weedy in. Weedy it is. Yep. All right. And which pronoun would you prefer? Uh, let's go with the one on the bottom. Got it. New season. Nice. And finally, Kelly, your choice. I would like the moth, please. Moth lady. Hazel or a custom? Oh, wait, I really like that name, Cinnamon. I think I'm just going to go with Cinnamon. Cinnamon's a solid one. And which uh, pronoun? And she, there you go. Ah, chill vibes. Here we go. All right. Which, tr which vibes should we go with? Uh, I am personally always a fan of rave vibes or chill lo-fi beats. Chris, so you haven't turned the music works. back on yet. I know, we can hear it. Oh, there we go. I can finally fix it. I would also okay. like to hear the rave sound. This sounds awesome. I think I went with lo-fi last time I played. Let's go with Tropic Cove. Nice. <laughs> I love the old the squad line up here. <laughs> Was the road trip a dangerous idea? Yes. Was it poorly planned? Yes. Did we do it anyway? Fuck yes. For in the end, we were young and unafraid. And we were ready to start. Oh, hold nice. on, I'm going to turn off my, my background Give music. There we go, for the game music. All right, so... Here's how this works. We have six of these six stats. Hype, magic, mind, money, and soul. We win if any of these stats reach 20. 
However, like everything is zero sum. So whatever is likely to increase something will decrease other things by the same amount. There's, I, if okay. there's anything that gives an overall gain, they're very rare. I don't remember if there are or not. So it's, it's a big balancing act, them. sort of piecing together which ending you'd like to go for and which you can go for. It's going to be a good time. And to start it, we can either go to a graveyard or the world's biggest potato. Are there muscular tops in this game? Oh yeah, there's more than a few. Interesting. Potato. Behold, the world's biggest potato. So large, so starchy, so rustic. Hey, so ripe for the creation of the world's largest plate of french fries. There's plenty to do besides stare at this agricultural marvel. What do you do? All right, and so here's how the, the selections work. So. Some of them say what you'll you'll definitely gain. Some of them say what you'll definitely lose. And this one gives like a bit of randomization, it, like even more so. I think, I think I'd like to feed from the potato. How could you look at a giant potato and not crave fries? You need to find something to eat. <laughs> huh. All right, time. Ta Time, I think Weedy would be a fine Scott. Mm. One moment. I gotta lean in real close. I believe in you. you look, they have a diner built into the side of the potato. Huh. They have new jump scare miner. And yes, it is an excellent opportunity for Sue. All right. Uh, uh, Yifwi, would you like to be Polly? That's a long line. They'd better at least have vodka. All right, and Callie, if you ever feel like voicing, you just say so. I won't, but thank you. I, I keep the offer open. Welcome to the Big Potato Diner. What can I get you? Hey. Sorry. Take I have to turn off the weed. Okay. <gasps> One hamburger, please. What part of Potato Diner don't you understand? Don't ask him that. He might be here for a while. I think I'm going to do the same thing real quick and just boost. Boost the weed a little. There yep. we go. Just a smidge. And I'm actually going to... The... Oh, actually, that, that should do for getting us past the... Uh, the music, because that was just it. The music I was was a bit louder. Uh oh, hold on. God damn, these dishes are I'm good. expensive. Why is this potato stand so pricey? Because we make all of our foods out of the big potato. Every bite is a bite of potato history. TM. Awesome, bro. Awesome. Does the big potato make really good potato dishes or something? Eh, if anything, they all case taste kind of stale. The big potato's getting a little up there in age. But hey, we have this special section on the menu. The manager isn't sure if it's morally okay to keep selling these dishes, so the prices are more competitive. That doesn't sound great, but oh boy, these prices are low. They're so cheap, they won't even make a dent in your money, stat. The question is, which of these dishes will feed you while fucking you up in the least inconvenient way? Ooh, the infinite fry. Or smashed potatoes. I'm kind of, I'm drawn in by this infinite fry. One long fry? Not infinite fry, Sly. Sly. Singular. It, it isn't literally infinite, is it? I mean... Can multiple people eat it at once? There's no way to finish cooking something like that. It defies laws of space and time! Sure, for legal purposes it's not infinite. Just try not to think too much about it and stop eating at some point and you should be fine. You start eating. You gain plus two stamina. You chew and chew, thinking at any moment you'll reach the end of the fry. But you don't. You eat that same fry for one minute. Then five minutes, then an hour, then longer. There's no end to this crunchy, salty, 
thing. Yes, I'm sorry, but it's time for an attention. You gotta stop eating that fry. It's unhealthy for you. And I'd like some food too. No way. I've invested too much time into finishing this fry now. I have to see it through. Some cost fallacy for the win! Can we at least have some? Give me no, the fry, Grit. No, it's my fry! Hand over the fry. <laughs> you keep eating, but your brain cannot comprehend infinity. Not even in such starchy, simplistic terms. You eventually pass out. You wake up in the car. Scott and Polly threw the fry away and took you here to take care of you, which was nice of them. But you're kind of upset because you finally found your true calling, eating that infinite fry to completion. Your purpose in life, gone forever. You lose two mind and occasionally suffer from nightmares that make you wake up in cold sweats, looking all starch. Stark, looking all stark. God damn. You ever seen a cat drive? All right, your choices are a pet contest or a used car dealership. Pet, 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 pet. Pet it is. They we're talking about cars. You, you, you don't have to worry about filling those in. Those things go way too fast. Because they, they, they're voice actors. Nightmare. You're surrounded by pets of the highest pedigree, here to prove that they're the best of the domesticated animal kingdom. But you've gotten a pretty impressive good boy of your own who's ready to compete. Scott could win this thing easy peasy. It might be his first and only chance to actually outsmart his competition. The only question that remains is what category you want to enter him in. All right. So if you have any questions about it, let me know. I think we'll just go straight to the obstacle course. Obstacle course! You enter Scott into the pet contest. He's very excited about it. Let's do it! This would just be fun. I just need transform first. Oh, you still got that picture of a full moon? Yeah. Oh, I've got a full moon, all right. Paint these cheeks. Polly moons you all with her bare butt. Oh, oh hell yeah. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Whoa, Me that too. really worked. I was just messing around. Magic rules this world makes no sense. <laughs> it's true, true woof, ain't it? Woof, woof. Well, Scott's right, job in the competition. Who will Scott need to eat? I don't think eating the other competitors is part of the deal. There are actually several different obstacle courses you can choose to compete in. These obstacle courses will engage your pet's muscles and agility. Well, Scott, have muscles. Along with wits, grit, charisma, bureaucratic expertise, an ironclad moral code, and full understanding of life and death. Huh. I don't understand half those words. Those <laughs> other muscles? <laughs> uh, never mind. Dang, there's gotta be at least one obstacle for us here we can play. I'm really grooving to this music. Good choice. And if not, at least one that'll be entertaining to lose. If wizard, which obstacle course should we enter? All right, you have the trolley course. Your pet will be thrown into impossible moral conundrums. The social climbing course, overcome social obstacles to be accepted in high society. And the permit course, be ready to get stressed from jumping through several bureaucratic hoops. And I apologize, I'm gonna read a out just because I don't think Jack can read these very easily. Let's go, let's go with the trolley course. Oh no. <laughs> Hey, Trolley sounds fun, we'll fly cards and dragons. What go wrong? Everything. What go wrong indeed? <laughs> Everything goes wrong. Smash cut to you three screaming in pure stress while a trolley barrels down the track towards several defenseless people. <laughs> oh no! What do you volley pull, Lever? I don't know. There's no easy answer. That's why it's a moral conundrum. Change courses and hit one guy, save five, but 
unconsciously killing one. Or you can do nothing and let five people die. Do you really want to let that on your whoopee? Yes. Do you believe in action equals culpability? Do you believe saving five lives is worth sparing one? I don't know, I don't have no brain cells for that. What? Real Something people know already. the correct answer is you switch the track halfway through transition in order to force the trolley to drift both tracks, killing six people. Multi-track drifting. Just kill one guy or kill the five guys restaurant chain. Now. What's got not good with numbers? Five is more than one, right? Afterwards, Scott's back to his normal self, and you're all reflecting on your choices after losing two soul from manslaughter. Ah, uh, that was rough. But the trolley problem was still exciting in its own adrenaline bubble. Stress-inducing way. So at least we got some hype. I guess, but bro, ethics are hard. Yep. Wolf Scott is the opposite, becomes a fine scholar, I say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What are Sorry, what the other pets doing? You check the obstacle course to see an orange cat is competing next. It's riding in the trolley and chooses to run over the five people. Then the cat reverses the trolley to go back and hit the remaining person on the yeah, other track. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Cats, am I right? Let's win this thing! Give wizard nods and <laughs> Alright. Weedy, your choices are futuristic gas station or a shady property. Question is, what are we going for? I don't think we have enough to really settle in yet. Our st our stamina is slightly higher, but so is our hype. So just pick something that seems fun for now, I think. Mm. Let's go to the shady property. Ooh. Smart choice, hey, look, it's a Smart choice. All oh, that intelligence I gathered from the Lady Brookhaven. I, it's 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 I I I can't say Firefly anymore. Thank you very much. Happy Valentine's Day to you as well. I hope you have an excellent one. And congratulations on your rebrand. I I've lurked a little, but I I I feel awkward, so I I I I don't talk. So I hope you're having a nice day, though. I hope you're having a great Valentine's. And this place seems like exactly the sort of place you shouldn't visit. What can go wrong? Which naturally is why you have to visit it. Horror movie logic for the win! The big question is how you'd like to enter the premises. What's it gonna be? Ah! Curse you, Sly. I'm so glad All I right. can't hear these jump scares. <laughs> they're not even bad, they're just a little honk. But they get, it's enough. There's your da -da -da. Ah. All right, uh, what would you like, Weedy? To break into the basement, check the backyard first, or just knock on the door, goddammit? Let's be playing and knock. You knock on the door. No answer. Maybe no one's... Hi, Plague. Unlikely, there are too many loud chainsaw noises for the house to be empty. But turns the doorknob. Turns out the door wasn't locked. As soon as it's open, a bloody man with duct tape over his mouth runs into the night. No, wait, God damn it! that's the third one this week. I'll leave for five seconds to find my lucky butcher knife. Huh. Butcher knife, what would be your dinner guess? <sighs> thank you, Clark. Oh, and Yipwe, thank you for the head pass. And I'll take a sippy quickly. Ooh. I I gotta gotta read uh lit but but okay lit, lit. I, I'll go with lady I'll go with lady. Ah oh, thank you lady I I I'll push past my anxiety I'm gonna do better I'll do it and uh oh Vesper Valorant thank you very much for following. 
If by dinner, you mean murder, and by guest, you Thank mean you victim, <laughs> then sure. <laughs> Hi, Clark! Welcome in! That's too much word replay to me, but listen, if you want guests to stay for dinner, you got up your game, bro. You're damn right, Scott. It seems our friend here needs a crash course in host etiquette. Yeah, like maybe put some extra lighting in front of the room here and clean up the kitchen. Cats are saying over the floor, and that'll make your guests feel welcome and safe. Hmm, so you're saying that by being a better host, I can get my guests to stay for dinner? Yep, perfect plan. What's the best way to transform Jerry the Grizzly Serial mil Murderer? Oh, I'm sorry, Jerry the Grizzly Serial Killer into Jerry the Hostess with the Mostess. All right, Weedy, you can have a good host always treats their guests, teach Jerry how to cook a dessert to die for, or give Jerry your best jigsaw puzzle so we can keep his guests hooked forever! Hmm. Well, I'm not that good at cooking, so I guess it's the jigsaw puzzle. Jigsaw puzzle it is. It's all fun and games until he misunderstands oh. which jigsaw you mean. Plague, the, the song's gonna play as soon as Morbius stops playing from Vesper joining. <laughs> I can't, I'll never get over that joke. I love it. You give Jerry your favorite puzzle. You lose too hype for not being able to complete it, but anything to help a neighbor in need. A few nights later, screams are once again emanating from Jerry's house. A terrified couple runs from room to room, covered in blood, trying to escape. I think he's gone. God, this is a nightmare, cries the... Ah! Hold on, I got a bop to whopper. Double bubble bake a whopper. Perfect toppers. <laughs> Sorry, it's great. How did I let you talk me into going for a dinner party at Jerry's? I can't believe he killed everyone, the man weeps. Even Carl, his wife, had a baby on the way. He could find us at any moment. Help me break open a window so we can get out of here. My gushing head wound is really starting to sting. Whew. That'd be a good that'd be a good mechanic plagued. <laughs> I'm not finding any blunt objects here. Just old newspapers, moldy socks, and wait, is that a half-finished jigsaw puzzle on the ground? Who cares? We don't have time to study a puzzle of a su of a stupid pack of wolves. We need to get to the car. It's fine. You can visit the puzzle. <laughs> this puzzle obviously depicting a pack of jaguars. No, jaguars don't hunt in packs. It's wolves, you idiot. It's jaguars. Wolves. Jaguars. Up, guys? I could hear you shouting all the way across the house. You like my puzzle? My friend Weedy gave it to me. They're a kind soul. Now well, let's find out how many pieces I can turn you guys into. <laughs> For those at home who are curious, the completed puzzle was actually a bowl of fruit. Hmm. Oh, this seat is comfy. Uh, okay. If you got a recipe for cake, Clark, of course you gotta share. I don't care what the choices are. I'm not going to the circus. Da, 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 da. Well, it's a movie set, so that's pretty. Oh, exciting. looks like we're going to the movies. Hi, Jerry. Again. That's way too little vanilla extract, Clark. Add more. Yeah. Everyone at some point wonders what it's like to be a movie star. You still don't know what it's like. You're just a humble road tripper, trespassing on a movie set. But this might be the closest you will ever get to Hollywood, so make the most of it now. What do you do? Do you get an autograph, pillage the set buffet, or become extras? Mm. Can you show me what the which what my guaranteed bonuses are? So, for this one, you'll always gain hype. For this one, you'll always gain we'll stamina. the set buffet so we can increase and the stamina again. Good call. You find a sandwich buffet table and gain plus two stamina, eating your fill when you notice a nearby bush? Hmm. Looks like someone left a set piece over here anyway. 
You guys think they've got an open bar anywhere? Haha! -ha! I am no set piece. It was me, Cameron O'Flage, fooling you once again with my incredible powers of camouflage. Bros. Hey, Counselor Flage, what are you doing away from Propoma Camp? I think no counselors are allowed to leave the campgrounds. Contrary to popular belief, counselors have lives too. I also use my amazing disguises to sneak onto movie sets and beg for a job in wardrobe. Hey, the director shouts at you all. Quit standing around, freeloaders. I ordered one of you to make me a sandwich ten minutes ago. Not it. Flodge goes back to impersonating a bush. You make the director a sandwich because you have no spine. Something the director right. eats a sandwich and immediately chokes on it and dies. Holy oh. shit. <laughs> rats, sighs the producer. That's the third one this year. Well, congrats, kid. You killed him. You get to take his place. You're the director now. <gasps> Wait, that's all it takes to be a director? Cinnamon yes. doesn't even have training or education. I've got this. Training is unnecessary. Only violent. Sandwich. I'm sorry, I, I was catching up on, on chat real quick. And I don't have any fucks to give about that. Here's the script, Cinnamon. Decide what movie you want to make oh, and no. yell at actors until it happens. I have to be happens. in charge? Wow, no. pressure's on. What do you take as inspiration for your new movie? Do you have all art comes from suffering? Find inspiration in that terrible time you had to call for a pizza and engage in actual monster interaction with a stranger. Or hard workers work hard. Smart um. workers outsource. Consult the muses. Hmm a second let me think Ooh. okay you know what i have not stopped thinking about art for the last 14 hours so we're gonna go uh -huh. through art one all right all art comes from suffering now presenting the call the protagonist in their studio apartment their hands shaking as they realize the no contact pizza delivery app isn't working Oh no, I have to actually talk to someone? The pro tag gasps as lightning strikes. Okay, fine. I just need to practice. I'll say, I'd like to order a cheese pizza. I'll give them my address and hang up. It'll be easy. The pro tag calls the pizza parlor. Hello, thanks for choosing friendly pizza where all our staff are uncomfortably warm and talkative. What can I get you today? I'm the conductor of the poop train. <laughs> I'd like to order a cheese pizza. My address is, would you like to add extra cheese? <laughs> uh, uh, sure. Okay, how much extra cheese? I find that the amount of extra cheese ordered is directly proportional to the customer's psychological state. Uh, you seem unsure what to order. May I suggest taking you through this 20 question quiz to decide what pizza you want based on your personality? I'm question sorry, one. What? On a scale of 1 to 10, how healthy is your relationship with your father? The oh protagonist gosh. assumes the fetal position in terror. You lose too hype reliving this nightmare that once befell no. you, but at least it makes for good cinema. Quick break. All right, I'll give you a quick rundown on how this works. So this one is gives a a little boost like you it, it makes an, a slight adjustment. Over here you get to make a purchase from Noodle. Noodles, excellent. And we shall be voicing Noodle. They have no choice. Up here, you have the choice to talk to Scott or Polly or a possible third person who we can get it added, which you can essentially randomly get at the bus stop. And on the info board, you can guarantee a location in the future. So it's pretty much just pick somewhere fun to go. And I'm... I'm going to kick us off by going to... Might take going a short 10-hour power nap. All right. Where should the Yip Wizard go? I think she'll just go to the park. Go enjoy that. Strategy here. All right. And did Weedy say they'd be right back? Oh. Possibly. I believe so. So what does the info board do again? I'm sorry, I was reading. This that. lets you get select a guaranteed like location in the next day. So if okay. there's like a specific area that you want, I, I think that's more for people who are really trying to come like see everything in the game, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, the phone rang. 
That's okay. Did you tell it to be quiet? It's your turn. Can I go to the thing I'm going Yes, uh, but yeah, I, I need to... Oh, that... Such peace and quiet. And that's Cinnamon. I'll go with Yip Wizard in the car. Okay. It's just a small boost. The night is young. Roach on to Nerdle's little shop of weirdness. <laughs> That's right, so let's road trip because one way take it to your painful demise. But hey, why not prog the Nerdle with one of my products? Is that a voice of meat walk? <laughs> hmm. I, and I'm not once again, this is a. Fanfic. This is a net. This is a net zero. So I'll, I'll give away someone else's credit card and see if I can get something for stamina. Forbidden fruit condoms. Tempting. Coin from a different dimension. Ooh, ooh. that's obviously some macaroni. Turtles. Hell yeah. We're just speed running this, aren't we? If we nail it fast, well, it'll be great. But I don't know. Those last few points are always kind of tough to get sometimes. You know. Yeah. Noodle, I, I'll admit I've only played this like twice, but I'm gonna talk about it like I'm an expert because I can. That's fine. Noodles proceeds to tell you the most fucked up, soul withering antidote you've ever heard. Your kidneys belong to me now. I'm not over to five. Ah, oh, good times anyway. Enjoy your beverages. Yeah, my store we're closed. <laughs> ah, hours Hi, Clark. Sleep. Ooh, cottage in cheese pizza. Clark, that sounds fake. <laughs> All right. Chris, one of the days you and I are gonna have to do a collab where we spend the entire stream only talking in voices like this, just to uh, fuck with people. We 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 should watch the Minions movie or play some sort of Minions branded game. Let's play Minion Run. Minion Run. Uh, uh so this is uh this is your choice. A uh, Yif Wizard, risky. And we let every ad play in full. Oh, that. Took, took something away from our lowest and gave something to our highest. All right. And next is, uh, oh, I think this is, uh, yeah, th this I, move I, right I, on to I kind of right? also want to pick Risky if that's how Whiskey works. Oh, man. Because now we just need life. one successful stamina and before we, we lose any. Would you like one of, one of these people? And they both have a special effect. Oh, what's the other one? So it, this guy's the gain a lot of your lowest, or for one week, every turn, you'll gain plus soul and lose magic. I was hoping for Sam, though. We're going with Joy. You invite Joy to join your Joy road trip. Hitchhiking, world and yeah, she is a JoJo. I, I feel like that's not brought up enough. A JoJo? Of the... Of the uh, well, <laughs> are, are you familiar with JoJo and his bizarre adventure? You so you do mean that kind of JoJo? <laughs> yeah, her name is her is 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 Joy Joseph Jojima. Which, by the way, her last name is a spin on Dojima. Fucking Kid. <laughs> yeah, she's she's badass. She's awesome. I I mean, and she, she is the joke joke boots. Yeah, she she is a joke. <laughs> but please drive responsibly and don't do anything stupid. Actually, that's probably asking too much. Just don't do anything so stupid you get us all killed. Okay. You gotta say it, Weed. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> Joy never rests from fighting evil. Next week, every turn, we'll gain a little soul and lose a little magic. But we've got ten magic. We can afford it. All right, here's the order for this week. Oh, I didn't realize it was going to change order. I see. Yep. Every I, I, I It'll just keep rotating us around. And here are our potential destinations. A, I was mistaken. It's 25, not 20. I apologize. And uh, and B, we like it is a loss if any of these get to zero. Also, Vesper is very happy that you called out the JoJo reference. Ah, oh, I didn't say. You're welcome, Vesper. It's... And her full name is Joy Johnson Jojima. Yep. There's the Mer Kingdom outpost, all hail the Mer King, or the adorable village. Let's turn over a new leaf. Mm, let's go to the village. 
I don't really want to get marketed to right now. That seems fair. Ah, too late. Uh oh, drank a potion. Wow, what a cute little village. All the inhabitants are adorable animals. There's Bartholomew the cassie, classy giraffe, Boston the buff bluebird, Bernard the shy capybara, and the other one. You can't wait to meet them all. What will you do? Would you like to catch bugs, attend a town hall meeting, or decorate a neighbor's house? Let's decorate someone's house. I despise meetings. I am not going to attend a town hall meeting. Then we shall decorate their house. Yay! Hopefully I can decorate their house with lights because I'm a mom and I can make it all nice and bright. I believe so. You and your friends wander the village for a bit looking for a house that needs a glow up. Howdy. Howdy, little animal bro. Do you, any of you need help redecorating your houses? Oh, hello, strangers. I'm not sure what I'm looking at here, but this is concerning. This is fine. Mm, sure, why not? You As know, the local a house expert, interior is like I a person's interior. Ah! Okay, Clark, I'll take a bite. I've still got some string cheese here. Thank you. Well, Vesper says it's an Animal Crossing creepy costume. So, you know, a house's interior is like a person's interior. You want to move things a bit every now and then to keep things fun. And so, you all move furniture and shake things up a bit. The house's interior is way bigger than its exterior, but you choose not to ask questions about that. By the end of it, the house looks as weird as before, but apparently, better looking brand of weird? And you've gained plus two soul for your neighborly actions. <laughs> Sure, but something. You have lots of strange stuff, buddy. Where'd you get all that? No idea. Most of it just appears, and I go with it. But now the house looks perfect. There's some things I have no more room for, though. Want to keep one of the three things? Yes. Yeah. But wait, if you get rid of all of it anyway, why can't we? I want to keep some to get, so I get to burn it in my yard. That's the best part of doing house renovations. The fire so part. Okay, that so makes sense. true. I <laughs> well, love they're this not part. wrong. But back to the options part of this event. You look about over the pile of weird shit and decide to keep regret juice, the froggy Iron Maiden, or an off-putting photo of error with Polly and Scott, which exists despite the fact that they'd never met before today. I would like to keep the froggy Iron Maiden. Ooh, kinky. <laughs> Damn it. I like it. Maybe, but that's not why I kept it. <laughs> oh, good choice. This one is good for relaxed introspection. Or if you want to have a fun time. <laughs> cool, Cinnamon. Want to do the honors? The honor of entering a medieval torture device? Uh... Maybe not. Then again, it has such a cute frog motif. You can't resist froggy furniture. You get inside. Hmm. It is dark in here, and the sharp metal spike impaling your spleen makes it hard to gain any mind or hype in this contraption. Maybe if you just power through, it'll be better? Like how joggers say that if they eventually hit a runner's high? You give it 15 minutes, but nope. You just keep suffering in horrible, horrible pain until your friends open the doors. Oh, bro, how was it? Oh, look at the floor. I would have never guessed you had this much blood cinema. Yikes! Just another day in the office. <laughs> Follow-up question. <laughs> Did you need all that blood? Or can I have some? Maybe we collect all with, with a mop or some napkins or put it back inside her. Nope, this is definitely an emergency. You tell your friends the froggy Iron Maiden probably wasn't your best idea before you black out from blood loss. You lose two steps. No! Look how cute the froggy mascot's eye are as it watches you bleed out from the floor. You can't stay mad at that. I can't save the world. You're right, I can't guys. stay mad at that. Alright, it's Wheaties go. We have either the gift shop, Existence is Pain, or the cult headquarters. Got goats? Hmm. Let's go to the gift shop. Right. 
You're riding along when you pass a broken down school bus. You can barely get a word out before Joy's jumping out to investigate. The bus is filled with about 20 children and a redheaded woman in the driver's seat. Joy addresses the driver. Oh my goddess. <gasps> oh my goddess. I'm sorry to intrude, but are you Miss Fizzle? The Miss Fizzle? I think that's Miss Frizzle. No, yep. Miss Fizzle. Very different. Person. Oh my god. Nothing like Miss Frizzle to make you realize just how much you love smart women. <laughs> Violet Frizzle, the one and only. Wow, it's such an honor to meet you. I grew up watching your TV show. Oh, I watched your show too. The mythic school bus, right? With the teacher who travels through space and time. Teachers do this a lot. Yep, Miss Frizzle did a lot. Not the least of which is continuing the tradition of powerful witches having their own TV shows. Miss Fizzle, I can't overstate how much you inspired me as a young witch. I'd be honored to help you fix the mythic school bus. Fix it? It's not broken. I just pulled over to calm down because these kids are driving me nuts. <gasps> oh, is everything okay? No, I can't take these brats anymore. Always doing internet dances during class or filming pranks for YouTube or whining about the bus not having Wi-Fi. And the parents are even worse. I've taken these kids to space three times, and Freddy's dad still convinces him the Earth is flat. None of the kids give a damn about my field trips, and with this oh good teacher's salary, I can barely afford the magic to get them there. Seems like you need to insist. I bet my friends I could take kids on a fun, magical field trip and teach them a life lesson. It'd be a great break. Scott, while my inner child is loving the suggestion, I don't think Miss Fizzle will hand over the care of her students to total strangers. Are you kidding? Take the brats. I don't give a shit. You got a field trip in mind? So real. All right, this is Wheaties' choice. A lesson mm -hmm. in history. Let's go to England in the... I can't do Roman numerals. 19th century? So these kids can learn fucking manners or a lesson in empathy. Let's travel to the inside of Miss Fizzle's brain so students get to really understand how miserable they're making her. Let's do the history lesson. You shift the bus into reverse and drive backwards through time to the 19th century England. You force the students to attend a finishing school with the no-nonsense Victorian schoolmaster to whip them into shape. Pay attention, children, says the teacher. You must be educated and obedient if you want to marry out of your stations and become rich one day. <laughs> Sounds lame, says Freddy. I don't gotta get married to be rich. I'm gonna go viral on Tok Tok and be an internet celebrity. I'm gonna be a VTuber. <laughs> what is an internet celebrity? Asks the teacher. Is it a noble title of some sort? Hmm. No, it's a job, sort of. You get to be really, you got, you have to get really lucky to earn money doing it, but. Wait, so these children are still aspiring to work? Why are they not working yet? They're already nine years old. Nuh-uh, I'm ten and a half, Freddy whines. But this won't do at all. You children should be working in the mines or as Metacraft apprentices. Come along, it's time to keep you kids. Uh, well, is this okay? No, it's not. Miss Fizzle, would, shouldn't we put a stop to this? Nah, they'll be fine. The brats are always going on about mining and crafting anyway. This is probably a dream situation for them. Well, <laughs> lots of shows go downhill if they run too long. Looks like the mythic, the mythic school bus no exception. The kids return from their field trip after their 18-hour shifts. You're unsure if they learned anything, but you'd rather you just leave this adventure and never look back. You also lost two magic time traveling, but at least you gained two mind learning so much. Like how much the past sucked. What sort of gift shop even is this? Just a pop-up stand in the middle of the desert? What? What are these products for sale? What are they for? What are they even made of? They're made well, of this... the remnants of my soul. Oh no. Well, this is definitely weird, but you might as well bring the shop to the next level. Get the good stuff, or invest in this clearly booming business. Mm. So this mm. one tells you which one you'll lose, but it, it doesn't say which one you'll gain. How much do you all want to gamble? Yeah, I like the gamble. Alrighty, we're gonna invest in this clearly booming business. You and your friends get out of the car and enter 
whatever this place is. Oh. <sighs> Greetings, fellow Fletchbags. Welcome to the skip shop. See anything you like? Oh. Whoa, this stuff is so cool. What is this stuff anyway? Rocks, of course, they're cold and silent. I look as that never loved their back. Much like my. <laughs> Those. These rocks are the shit! How long have you been running this thing? Long enough to know better than to answer personal questions. Look how he made himself angry. He had a marker on eyebrows. Nice! Nice! You're a really good business. Got the makings of entrepreneurial greatness. Does he though? Of course he does, dum dum. Check out all that natural business smarts and charisma oozing out of Noodle's pores. Oh, we're talking about my oozes. <laughs> we gotta invest in this booming business, y'all. These rocks are about to go big. Let's go all in on it now and get ahead of the curve. I know. Don't you remember last time you bent in a booming business while you were drunk? Yep. Hey, I don't regret investing in dick shirts. Shirts for your dick. Scott loves them. And I love taking them off. Wow. <laughs> we dick crop top right now. I know. <laughs> All we gotta do is decide how to use our investment to expand the business. Lady, what do you suggest? So you can advertise in printed pa newspapers. They're so desperate for relevance that they may feature the stand for free. You could officially sponsor a team of competitive rock, paper, scissors players. Or, in times like these, you go big or go home. Start a cinematic universe. Hmm. I think rock, paper, scissors. Excuse me. No way there's a competitive rock, paper, scissors team. Much less aim. I drink to forget the power. Of course there is. We're going to provide them to stop and to wrestle. But the right thing step I think is get bored of being alive. That settles it, apparently. You spend two money sponsoring a team to go watch their first big match. Scott is appointed team cheerleader. Noodles is the unsettling mascot, and Polly is drunk. Go team! Give me a hour of game with that game chance today. Aww. Oh, these brothers. as hard as I can. Actually, I'm pretty sure our team is losing because Neil is saying I would then play rock to promote his business. It seems one of your athletes figured that out too, because in the next round, he plays scissors and wins. You're out. Our... But I have to play scissors, Mr. Moodles. The competitor begs. It's the only way to... Uh... I thought you were out. Oh, <laughs> tentacles can really choke a motherfucker out. Uh, can I try? <laughs> Could we get help? Oh. No, are you kidding? This is the most interesting thing that's happened all that. This was certainly a memorable way to spend your day. You gained two hype from competitive rock, paper, scissors. Evil waits for no one. Yeah, dang. A little bit worried about the fact that we're almost broke, but it's fine. Uh, oh, fine. Uh, Let's go for ethics again. Play God! Ah! Huge raid! Oh my goodness! Oh my! Ah! Ah! Astrid Arcana! Astrid, thank you very much for raiding. Welcome in, welcome in, everybody. It is a um, it is a, a very a very nice. Miss, uh, oh, oh, this, uh, uh, friends, this is the, this is the, the artist who's working on, uh, who I showed you the, the stuff earlier, the, the, oh, the, the, the art options, and it is, 
Excellent. It Thank you for giving them a shout out. It looks very good so far. I'm, very I'm so excited. excited. I still haven't decided yet, though. I don't. I don't know how much your stream knows about. It. I don't know how much we should talk about it. But she, she was excited. showing it on her stream earlier, okay, cool. and and I don't have a low. I, I don't have it in OBS right now, but it's gonna be good. We're getting new new design working. But welcome. I'm Grizz. The, these are my friends. I, I've got uh, going going from from my side here. I've got Cali Bun Streams. I've got Weedy Bread, my my mod, in two places because Discord is Discord. And then Yip Weed off at the end. Welcome, welcome. And we are comfy. Ah. Uh, when when uh, uh, Clark, we got a raid. And uh, and I, I'll I'll show I'll, I'll show it I'll put it on my uh, on my Discord later, Clark, so you can see what I'm talking about. You, it'll be cool. All right, uh, 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 uh. Uh, thank you, Cat. I'm I'm going with uh, I'm going with a she/her for now, just 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 because I'm I'm still like I yeah, yes yes. Thank you for asking. Though. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Oh, the art thing. The art thing I will show in a bit. I just don't want to load it up now, but thank you very much. And I am excited. And uh, by the way, thank you very much for following Kat. And, uh, and oh, we've missed most of it, but Morbius plays every time someone follows. Yeah. Oh, and someone cast, <laughs> someone cast Judgment too, of course. Hold on. I think you might have my favorite follow ha. alert that I've seen ha. so far. Ha. It's just, it's, it's so fun. Ha, ha. All, ju all my judgment redeem does is make me get an over, get put on bangs and an overcast, and it makes me really haughty. Ha, ha. Yes, and it, that's definitely all it does. It definitely doesn't fluster any buns ever. Uh, never. Ha, never. It wouldn't uh, fluster anybody. Mm -mm. I'm splish splashing my water. Oh, awful timing for an ad. I didn't get a chance to. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, hey, there's. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, anybody stuck in ad hell. Oh, they can't hear me now. Oh, yeah, Wizard, would you like to consider a cryptic tech company or space station? You can get some cash at the cryptic tech company here. Yeah, I'm thinking we should go continue down this road of ethics and moral quandaries. Excellent. Japanese ah. sketchy tech company. Ah, ah. I mean, like Aries oh. fucking tech company, so that she can abandon us all, and we have to come slinking back to the company begging Can't for attention. Can't believe it! Can't believe it! Is wow, that a you've never decided to die. It looks pretty impressive. You've never seen technology this advanced before. The future is here. Finally, you can answer questions like, "What's the future of virtual reality?" Is crypto really the currency of tomorrow? And what the fuck are NFTs anyway? Oh, you're back, Astrid. Excellent. Yes, it is a hot tub stream. <laughs> There's so much to see, but only so much time. You want to check out I didn't wear the right AI, color for this hot tub. The metaverse or the algorithm. I want to see if the algorithm is exponential or only quadratic. Okay. I'll have the algorithm. You and your friends wander the halls of the tech company until you find a room entirely dominated by a huge computer. <laughs> Greetings, Polly, Scott, and Yif Wizard, says a stilted electronic voice. It is I, Mac, the most intelligent supercomputer ever devised. Really? Do you know my favorite color? It's Plonk. You saw it once while you were tripping on acid and somehow accessed colors only shrimp can see. Nice! Damn, you're good. Me, me, me! Me, Mr. Mac, Mr. Mac, do you know what I'm thinking about right now? You aren't thinking. Damn, the algorithm what? is good. You're right. Good job. Matt can't do that. No, I'm programmed to gather data at all times to fill out my database. Would we say pretty please? 
Well, I've never been asked pretty please not to gather data on someone before, so sure, I'll give you a few moments of true solitude. God, we have access to a real super computer, right? I'm glad you survived, you know what Clark. This means? Oh, I got it. Well, wait, get the computer to order pizza. It'll show up really fast. Prank yeah. master, no. It's the ultimate challenge for the prank master. Oh. We need to prank the computer so it learns the beauty of monster error and the ingenuity of life. With a Z. <laughs> With, With a Z. Z. <laughs> but how does one prank an all-knowing, constantly developing AI? Well, I just How far in do you want to go? That uh, that's true, Clark. YouTube ads are pretty cancerous. <laughs> All right, so it's your choice. You can either change Polly's social media accounts everywhere so the computer thinks she's a Libra. You could replace all the computer stored data with pics of butts or make up a fake persona expertly crafted to warp all the computer's predictions. Persona, persona. Persona. Fuck yeah, let's go full hacker, baby. In order to disrupt the computer, you're going to have to totally remake your personality Absolutely. Get and 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 anybody out there, get ad blockers. I officially endorse ad blockers. I ain't sponsored. <laughs> Diana Fire ad companies. I like BD Bread Knight nice for this name. message. Your political oh. opinions making you the CEO of a disruptive corporation, making you way more. What do you charge of the Bad Dragon advertising department? Oh no, maybe we had something about Frisbees? Frisbees are really cool. You spend hours crafting this new persona, losing two mind in the process. Then you go check Mac. Hello again, Mac says. Apologies, but I don't have time to chat right now. A lot of my predictions must be readjusted. A new individual has suddenly entered the webosphere. A Mr. Badox. Ahab Huge Badox. Mm-hmm. Tell oh, me more yeah. about Mr. I have a he oh sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Tell me more about Mr. I have a huge button. That sounds like an interesting character. According to my new data, he's just been made the Prime Minister of Butts. I did not know this ministry even existed, which is a gross oversight on my part. Uh Oh, thank you for stopping by, Astrid. Get some sleep, and thank you very much again. Have a great day! It's a new thing, as butts are getting sleepy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to click. I clicked back in. It also seems that Mr. Bodox is the CEO of a tech company called Apple But Better. <laughs> I think that's a typo. I read in a newspaper, it's called Apple But Better. Ah. Well, that is irrelevant, because the biggest disruption in my predictions is Mr. Bardock's enormous frisbee collection. Oh, wink! <laughs> He's a real frisbee fan. Audibly winks. He's hoarded so many frisbees, I'm predicting that it'll destabilize the inflation of frisbee products and lead to the economic collapse in 15 years. With that, could you please leave? I need to focus all my computational power on researching Ahab Huge Bardock's upcoming frisbee crisis. You leave, gaining three hype for pulling off such a dope prank. You lose one soul, though, because apparently pranking a computer still counts as being a dick. I could use some help, you know? Finally! My turn! Alright. Let's see if we can get a little magic. Let's go to the low-budget rep low reptile show. I'd listen Gregorian to ancient Gregorian chanting. chant. Yeah. I heard a Gregorian chant version of uh of of Never Gonna Give You Up before. It was pretty solid. <laughs> Welcome to the Reptile Variety Show. Meet the cold-blooded critters with a passion for the stage. Let's get some popcorn. <laughs> there are a few performances scheduled for the day. Which show do you want to see? Alright, I can see Charming Snakes, a crocodile, but it's a stage musician, and improv iguanas. Well, I'm here to, uh, uh, we gotta boost our magic a little bit, so I'm gonna do this one. 
You settle in to watch the show. The stagehands bring out a stool, a microphone, and a 1,100 pound reptilian killing machine in a funny hat. I am Reptilizar, <laughs> named crocodilian magician, known far and wide throughout the Everglades. Prepare to be amazed! Thank you very much. For my first trick, I will make this rabbit disappear! Someone brings the croc a rabbit. He puts his hat in front of his face. The bunny shrieks and there's chewing sounds. Oh. Okay, you're obviously just eating the rabbit. You can't call food chain magic. Boo. Ha! I see we've got some hecklers in tonight's audience. You talk now, but wait until you see my next trick. I'll make this entire pig disappear over the course of an hour. With the aid of this magical barbecue sauce. You're not trying. Can't you make anything disappear without just eating it? No. Well, of course I can. Reptilisar can make anything disappear. Anything you can think of. I'll make it gone. <laughs> Say, if he's telling the truth, that could be really useful. And if he's lying, it's all the more entertaining for you. What do you ask the croc to make disappear? All of my adult obligations or my internet search history because of reasons. Oh god, it's me. Ah, uh, I'm getting rid of my adult obligations. Fuck this. Uh, what? I got a little jump scare though. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much for I'll take a sippy quick. Adult obligation mean like wearing underwear? Nah, I want the whole shebang. No more work, no more meetings, just time to sit around and play video games. <laughs> Reptilizar waves a, brand, a magic wand around, then grabs your phone out of your lap before you can stop him. It's just Chris's boss. Great! I'm calling you on behalf of Chris. She's quitting her job immediately. <laughs> yes, she is absolutely serious. And to really burn the bridge, she would like you to know, and I am quoting her directly here. That you are an incompetent, insufferable poopy head whose only positive contribution to the world would be dropping dead. Well, that is an accurate quote, I'll admit. Yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah, go on. I was for a magic trick, Grizz. I just made your entire career disappear. <laughs> yep. Great. You have plus two magic for witnessing some magical trick, but you lose two money from all the paychecks you won't get anymore. I can't save the world on my own, Cutting guys. it close. Mm, all right, okay. Cinnamon, where would you like it to go? Hmm, I... I'll just go back to the car. Gotta take somewhere. There's some conversation. Ah, oh, fine. I'll go to the bus stop. I'll check that out. What's our strategy here? All right, where do you to? Hmm. Good question. Very good question. Hmm. Now what? Can I just see the car? Okay. Might take a short. 10 hour power nap. You <laughs> wizard. The rest area? Sure thing. Let's chill. And, uh, I may as well head back to Noodles then. So many choices. I don't believe in money. I see that asterisk there. Oh. Welcome to Neuro's Swap Shop, where every customer is food satisfied asterisk, not guaranteed. No refunds. Neuro Swap Shop, not responsible for test plans, it's already an early onset dimension, voluntary dimension, having a rapid exit and growth. No refunds. Sorry, my dumb lawyer makes say that. Anyway, see anything you like? Alrighty, so, we, I think we can afford to lose some hype if we want to get some more soul. We could also get rid of this. This boosted our stamina earlier. I mean, are we still going for stamina, or are we going for soul? 
I, I think we just got to balance it one of the one or the other out, really. Mm -hmm. Joy is increasing her soul, though. Ah. Uh, Aw, postcard from my mom. I could trade that to noodles. <laughs> Why would I? Uh, I still don't know what this one. Would this be hype? Because I would get rid of that if it would hype. But I'm just going to get rid of that. And uh, I went to heaven and all I got was this dumb t-shirt t-shirt. Well, it kind of worked out. That's right, it's out. We got my 12th birthday party. You, you what? You will totally regret this. We'll have a good night. Let's choose wisely. All right, cautious planner or risky traveler? Hmm. We're running dangerously low on money, and that would just get it to an even number. So let's go with cautious for now. Right. I need my 14 hours All right, sleep. and you, Yiff Wizard, get to choose if you want to chat with Scott or Polly. Let's increase the voice Polly. Would you like to talk about her after-party adventures or being a ghost? I thought she was a slime girl at some time. Oh, no, she's a, she's a party ghost. Party! Yeah. <laughs> after-party's Serious ah. The sun starts rising. Not all of us creatures of the night start looking for a haven. You're super drunk or high or neither or both. What directions lead in search of the afterlife? Oh, do you find one? Oh. Uh -huh. There's no truth to it. You either know someone who has a place or you just keep going. Literally, once I was walking after leaving the night, it was like 6 a.m. and I was quite drunk. Not paying much attention to anything, but what I had in trouble. And, and to respond to you, Clark, I'll judge you. Hmm. Huh? I didn't even, I haven't looked, but I'll judge you regardless. Suddenly, a How random did. door opened. Nothing that strange. Just some people that were in front of me entering their house. And so, I did too. I had no plan. I just saw a door open and assumed I was going to there too. Not really. I didn't know any of these people. Had to have to party. They realized I was a sort of party stowaway. They just welcomed me. No way. Imagine that. Of course, what I did was dumb as fuck. Entering random houses should always be no-no. Mm -hmm. But I guess sometimes you get lucky and strangers end up being actually nice. Well, thank you for the head pats, mysterious follower. Harry, <laughs> welcome in. Welcome, What's Harry. What's that? Erribived. Erribitived. <laughs> I think it's Arabitevit is what it is. Ah, oh, you got it. You nailed it. We put it to live and forged an actual nice last bridge. And those strangers ended up being my good party buds. Summer, Macarena, and Cheese. Oh. Whoa, friendship origin story. Right? Wild party nights can truly be full of Good idea. Sounds like a plan. Polly spends the rest of the night sharing cool after party anecdotes with you. She surely lived an afterlife to the fullest. And now, you got the bonus. All resource gains and losses from events are increased by one. Yay! Such peace and quiet. And last, would you like to talk to Joy or change the hitchhiker soon? Um... Both are fine I options, honestly. I guess. 
guess. I mean, if losing magic is going to be unfortunate, but... Well, it ultimately will lose four magic just by virtue of, like, having her hang out, and we've got six magic. But we can oh. make up for that relatively easily. I see. Plus, we can um, theoretically get an ending if you want to. It's just it's just if you want to talk to Joy or try randoming yeah, a we'll new talk one. to Joy. You can ask her about moving from one realm to another or her studies in magic. Arabite, thank you for the stretch and simply. Hold on. Ah. Ah, good stretch. And I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Let me ask her where she got her boots from. No, you've only got these two. Look, it might I'll be under magic studies. Magic. Her studies in magic. Magic is such an ancient art. The study of magic is complex, but it can be very rewarding. I heard an oof. When we're not saving the world, we witches spend a good amount of time reading arcane tomes and learning new ways of channeling magic. This moth is so me. I'm just sitting here with headphones on while talking to her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, magic is a powerful energy that exists almost everywhere. Gasp! Clark! I'm caught off guard just by you saying that. Gasp! It has the worst of sources, though it's the residual power of ancient entities whose only goal is to destroy reality. Magic is their fuel, their will, and they have so much of it that magic has been pouring out of them for eons, permeating everything. What? Do you want to do you want to speak for cinnamon no. for yourself? No. All right. I'll tr try to never again remember the metaphor you came up with today. Thanks. The important thing here is that in time, mortals learn to use it. Magic was devised as the combustible to power these all-powerful machines of flesh and pain, whose main directive was to destroy everything. And yet we realize destruction is just one possible phase for transformation, and there's many more. The hammer they used to tear reality apart could be used to build something up too. Ooh. Effervescent. That's cool. <laughs> yes, it speaks volumes of mortals' will for survival, of their ambition to thrive no matter the odds. Still, magic is an extremely complex energy, and there's so much for us to learn and discover. New ways of using this mysterious material to shape reality, to fight back. <laughs> ah, the mysterious properties and uses of Jesus <laughs> of the Gods. Seriously? Stop it. So real. Anyway, that's how we learn magic. It's hard work, but it pays off. I I was thinking you attended a very British school with color-coded houses and groom-based sports. You are so weird. You're silly tonight, aren't you? Always. After some more discussion about magic, Joy teaches you a, a, some little magic tricks. It's neat. All right. First choice tonight. All right. We're closest now to soul. But we're at risk for money and magic. And mind, I guess. Ever seen a cat drive? All right, you have the Wild West Town. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Or who wants to be a millionaire in a wealthy mansion? Let's see. Another time, I'm going to be a millionaire. Is that a bad drive, Billboard? It's definitely some kind of. It's a it's a Dragon Heat romance, like that magazine you saw earlier. We got a crab dance. This is one fancy house. These people must be rich, rich. There's a sort of unsettling vibe to this place, but that's probably just what being rich feels like. Health and prosperity. And now's your chance to barge in and see what billionaire living is like for yourself. What interests you most? Family games, grandpa's fun experiments, or babysitting the children. Grandpa's fun experiments. Your friends ring the manor doorbell and a wealthy woman dressed in furs answers. 
Oh, hello, she says. Are you here to look after Grandpa? Oh, oh uh, we've been not trained to care for old people, really. I don't care. He's driving me nuts and I'll give you plus three money to look after him. Follow me. Uh, okay. You're taken into a dark, shadowy basement where you can find an old man using a circular saw. Oh, visitors! Come in, come in! So nice to meet you! Meet me too, Greg. Sure, I have a lot of old Splash Kaboom games lying around down here. I love playing Splash Kaboom. Oh, I have much more than just the game. I'm the biggest Splash Kaboom fan in the world! Let me show you some of my work. This is Crimson Darkheart, my original Splash Kaboom character. He's Splash's best friend and oozes class, sass, and radical charm. What a guy. Based. Based AF. Uh, yes. Isn't Crimson amazing? He's just the sort of guy you'd like to know in real life, don't you think? Maybe someday. <laughs> And this is Crimson's loyal steed, Excelsior the Ghost Wolf. All the best OCs have minor OCs attached to them. To build lore. Huh. It's a really weird looking horse. You know, you kids are remarkably similar to Excelsior. Almost as if you're two halves of his whole body. Oh my god. I see it. As if God put you in my lab so I may stitch you together. And make my incredible steed a reality. Oh, right, Scrams. Loving your OCs. <laughs> the front butt's right there. We all have our OCs. Ah, We're doing John amateur Dog jacket. surgery. Cl Clark, your you're making me put on my jacket in the in the tub. Ah, uh, it's just a step too far. Shh. Don't worry, it'll all be over soon. Stay here, and I'm going to get my forceps. Polly, I have a question. Well, these are just me and this starting to get weird. Yo, shit, it's getting weird. Grandpa wants to stitch us together in the cursed OC era. I love you guys, but I'm not spending the rest of my unlife so into Scott's butt. We need to escape, but we'll need a distraction. You can tell Grandpa to explain in great detail the good old days of Splash's early seasons. Or do your best to teach him how to use the internet. That's where Splash lives. Let's introduce the internet to the old man. Ooh. That should work. Hey, Grandpa, do you want to meet Splash for real? Kidding. That would be my dream. Do you know where he is? Uh -huh. He lives in the magical digital world we call the internet. I can't draw you with that. I'm with you there. Oh, that place where young folks go to invent new genders? That's all a bit beyond me. Not anymore. Yip Wizard here is terminating online. She'll show you the ropes. Yip Wizard, hope Gramps set up an AO4 account. So pass the so pass the most frustrating 20 minutes of your life as you try to explain to Grandpa how to open his browser window. You want me to open the window? Is it so Splash can enter through the window? No, I mean the browser. I mean the window on its computer. You just need to click on the browser icon. Click, click. Splash just make clicking sounds. His voice is radical and devil may care. Okay, no distractions. Yeah. One more second this, and I'm gonna lose my mind. God, now. Scott hits Grandpa across the head with a chair, knocking him unconscious. You all run for the exit. Bros. Wait, bros, this isn't the way out. This is a dungeon, my or something. From the shadowy corner of the dungeon, a bleeding, shambling, stitched together creature trudges towards you. Help me! <laughs> oh god! What is that? You guys gotta go! Fast! <laughs> the exit's up the stairs. Hurry before you end up like me. <laughs> Never have you fled a room so fast. Time to refresh this whole traumatic experience for your own sanity. Yay, road trip! Evil waits for no one. Make some space! Alright, let's see if I can get us some mind.
Uh, I should be able to at least guarantee that we don't lose mind. Oh, one person country? No, nah, no, nah, I want to go to an art exhibit. There's someone in Cali and what? Oh, Cali the Hedgehog? Is that a yeah, thing? Yeah, it is. Oh, no. Apparently. I just what? searched it. Apparently, it is a thing. <laughs> To be fair, Grizz is probably all over the place in normal media as well. I feel kind of lucky I got Grizz underscore VT. Art uh, is... Um, apparently the name is Kali Ka from Sonic the Hedgehog number 121. What is, is she? The first and only appearance. Um, she was the meter who presided over Knuckles' funeral following his supposed death, apparently. Wow! What? You know what? what? If you gotta have one name shared, it's the overseer of Knuckles' fucking funeral. It's a pretty good one. So, apparently... And, and Sly, you're okay. You've got Sly Cooper to fall back on, and that guy was boss. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Sly hates that. <laughs> <laughs> but he's so cool. He rubs and says, fuck the popo. Exactly. Also, is no one going to point out the fact that you're wearing a suit jacket over your swimsuit in a hot tub? I, I was mad. Someone did the jacket redeem. I didn't want that. <laughs> this is fine. They pushed it on me. Art is beautiful. Art is emotional. Art is raw, unfiltered exploration of the monster condition. Say cheese. Art is apparently painting a white stripe on a blue canvas and charging $40 million for it. I got I got counter responses to this type of uh, complaint, though. Because for every person who says, I could do that, fucking they didn't and they can't. They're wrong. <laughs> they couldn't do it like that person did. It's the time to get culture. The oh. suggestion I heard was... When oh, someone says doing? that at such an exhibit, Ooh, they need okay. to bring down a canvas and say, Okay, fucker, make yeah, something. Yeah, we're going to do it. And I'll, I got to give a stretch here. Okay. Thank you. It's time to get cultured. What do I want to do at the art exhibit? I can display my own art. Classic. I can ah, interpret the art. Oh, fuck, Clark, you monster. Oh, I gotta do workouts. So, not a problem. I uh -huh. think I'm gonna. Oh, uh, we'll lose soul, but we're doing so well in soul. I kind of want to display my own art. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> Damn you, Clark. Okay, let me make sure. So, it's the whole thing, right? We got cardio, leg, abs, and arms. Okay, uh, bear with me, everyone. You'll still be able to hear me because I, I have don't have push to talk on, so. Good, good luck. I'll be right here and you'll hear me. Yeah, Weed, why did you know that? I just uh, went back to the wiki to f to look and see if you were right. It, and yes, it right. is a Ken Penders character. Let's start with the jumping jacks. One, two. Uh, one of my three, partners four, uh, likes five, listening six, to podcasts seven, about eight, the whole Ken nine, Penders mess. Ten. All right. No, there was a Ken Penders mess, but one, all right then. It's his Two, entire career. Three. Oh, I see. Four, I'm understanding there, less and less five, as this conversation goes six, on. Seven, there, he has some daddy eight, issues that he put in. Nine. Ten. Is somebody playing said said Titanic flute? Uh, yeah, 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 All right, ten yeah, sit ups yeah, coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. One. Yeah, 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 two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right, last one and the hardest. Five push-ups. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Oh. Oh. I got these weak little arms. I'm back, though. Welcome back. Ah. Hi, Caddy. Ah, welcome in. Ah. 
Ah, thank you. Whew. Let me take a moment to catch my breath here. Ah, savage. I gotta fix something, by the way. Hold on. Because this is supposed to, like... Yeah, there's the problem. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me fix it again here. Knew something was weird about this. I wasn't... I wasn't like, moving when I got hit. Oh. An OC belongs to the OCC, or... Oh. The OC you tell your belongs friends. to Grandpa. If it can... uh, yeah. That's true. And that belongs in the ocean. In now. You tell your friends you intend to slice them with your own. own. <laughs> oh, your own artwork oh, at this I exhibition. That was fun. And look, they even hung up a blank canvas for people to draw on. Greetings, my friends. Hello, friends. Are you also admiring Vincenzo Spinelli's piece, Bianco e Niente Altro? This is all, this all white portrait was his last great work before he died. Oh. I am bored. I mean, I don't see why I'd be bad to link to the Angry Birds wiki, Clark. Oh. Oh, Leland the Angry Birds OC. That's a strange OC to have. Celebration twerk! Looks like old Pauline Prince are gonna have to put the twerk in our twerk. Wink. Yeah, let's draw something fun on that the boring canvas. <gasps> what? You you can't draw on Spinelli's masterpiece? It'd be a crime against art! And also against the actual law! Don't worry, Liam. Our art will be hella legit. We'll leave it to our drawing some first and pick the best one. Hmm. Well, I'm not just gonna stand by and let you deface an art piece. Not without my input, anyway. Give me a marker. You all take a moment to create your drawings and take turns showing them off. Behold, true art. Feast your eyes, plebeians. A blank page, inspired by Bianco e Nientaltro. It's an expression of ennui in an increasingly consumerist... Name. Liam's disqualified for being boring. Chris, what'd you draw? You drew Keith Bloodclaw, Bloodclaw, your warrior cat's OC, which quickly gets disqualified for having excessive abs. Ugh. Oh my no god, warrior cat. <laughs> it's okay, boo. That's, that's a word I haven't heard, heard in a while. By choosing but, which piece should be exhibited, mine or Scott's. Ooh, Scott's piece, always hug your friend, or Polly's piece, which is... Hold on. These primary colors. <laughs> the butts? They're getting twerked at powerfully. This might be a Mogus butts. <laughs> I, I don't what? think it's impossible that these are a Mogus butts. She did deliver on the twerk. Uh, it's box. true, but I'm giving it to Scott. Look at it. It's got macaroni on the side, and look at his big old smiles. Scott translates his drawing to the museum wall. Immediately, art snobs are falling all over to discuss its imaginative brushstrokes and clear call to action. Monsieur Howell, says one art critic. Can you explain what inspired you to use an uncooked macaroni frame for your masterpiece? That's easy, I really like macaroni, but I'm not allowed to boil it by myself anymore, so I just eat noodles raw. <laughs> just built some on the picture with working, so I just rolled with it. Ugh. Ugh. Such an insult to Vincenzo Spinelli. You destroyed his masterpiece with your shitty macaroni art. Oh, I wouldn't say he destroyed it. In fact, Monsieur Howell understood my art better than anyone. Ah! I think it worked that time. The art critic removes his fake mustache and giant beret to reveal... Huh? Her art. Vincenzo Spinelli? But you're supposed to be dead! Nay, I merely faked my own death so I could watch Bianco Inian Altro in secret. Waiting for the day a true artist would correctly interpret it as a blank canvas. Buff, gentle artist of luscious fur, 
Thank you for realizing my dream. You are a true artist at heart. You and not the purple vampire who obviously didn't get my art. Sheesh, hmm. okay. Hooray! You gain three soul for choosing the piece with the wholesome message, but you lose three stamina because that macaroni came out of your road trip food supplies. Ooh, we're getting there. I can't save the world on my own, guys. I've memorized the wiki. All right. It is Weedy's choice, and you can either fully random at the ranch, or the only guarantee is that you'd have a plus one hype at the Battle Royale. Well, this seems dangerous. Ready to embrace your inner horse girl, or the odds are not in your favor. Oh. Let's go with where they're not in our favor. It's been using up our mind. That's the warning. If we lose mind, we lose. Welcome to the Battle Royale, where there are only two rules. Kill or be killed. <laughs> Stopping to visit the place where everyone's murdering each other was sort of a questionable decision on your part. But it's too late to leave now, so how will you survive? Mm. Make strong alliances? Fucking hide or go berserk. <laughs> I think hide. You and your friends are walking around the battle royale, doing your best not to get murdered, when you run into your friend Dahlia! Welcome to the battle! <laughs> oh boy. So, is it- I- I- C Callie may remember her from yes, our Monster I Camp do. game. Woo! Uh, <laughs> Sup, fuckers! Welcome to the I battle! I remember getting rejected. Did. I think I want to see you. Like, you know what you're doing, Dahlia. Do you want to make an alliance with us? Nah, sorry. No alliances. Dahlia there can only be one winner, wins. and Dahlia always wins. I'll give you guys a head start for old times' sake, but if I see you again after this, I'm totally whooping your ass. Good luck. The Guile Blizzard B-Mix? Alright, I'll take a listen after stream. <laughs> Nope, nope, nope. You're a lover, and now, apparently, a road tripper. Not a fighter. There's no way you'd survive facing Dahlia head-on. I mean, survival is a non-issue for me. But it'd be a big bummer if you was not died. So yeah, let's, uh, let me hide. You find a shallow cave to hide in. You slide in, and collide with someone else hiding in there. Oh! Visitor, says a long-haired, long-bearded bearded hermit with crazy eyes. Welcome to my apocalypse bunker. Let me introduce my closest friends. Rocky the Rock, Planky the Prank, Plank, Rocky the Rabid Raccoon, and Tiberius, the magazine cutout of Mar Marilyn Monroe. About 513 days. We're waiting out the Battle Royale, which can obviously only end in Apocalypse. When it ends, we'll emerge to start a new world order. So if I let you stay here, what role will you fulfill in our new society? We can't keep anyone who's dead weight. I'll be president, of course. Rocky and Rocky will be my security detail. Planky will be the treasurer. And Tiberius will be the mother of my children. Party time! I'll be the representative. Party party. It's a political party that works to provide fiction party. At the post apocalypse, we're clearly lacking it. <laughs> and I'll be the astronaut I always wanted to go to Hazel with society starting investing cool rockets. All eyes turn to you. Guess it's either buy into this hermit's insanity or get your spine ripped to bits by Dahlia. What role will you promise to fill? You can have a brand new world means brand new economy system, and a brand new economy system will require brand new internet coaches that promise easy ways to make a profit. It's the circle of life. Ah, oh, beautiful music. I've got, I've got, <laughs> I've got the flute again. The answer is always bard. Acquire a loot and save the century defining culture of cheap action movies through oral tradition. Well, the answer is always bard. Let's hope ah. I don't mess it up. 
To prove your point, you bid three money on a loop on e buy, strum a renaissance tune, and sing your song. And yeah, once was man, John Wick, who was his name? The assassin whose power was second to none. So they claim? Should you it's not for war, just give John Wick a gun. He's forged in fire, was set to retire, but the vast villain blew the man's Lord, dog. I saw your thing! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, prefer the future bad remix of Sonic CDs. That sounds bad. Uh, <gasps> not the dog! Imagine his breast was made. Looks a lot of the rest. You dare query why he was called Baba Yaga. Oh. I got many killed, car chased, he bested, the golden John's was head mounted, but he could not be arrested. John finally came, his nerves were slain, John looked down peace, a new dog in a box office acclaim. Yeah. That was actually kind of freaking fire. <laughs> Have you noticed I'm, that? Encore, dude, the fast and the furious snack. Ah, damn! Wow, Weedy, good shit! I was so surprised by your epic bardic tale that I completely forgot to strangle you. I got a new idea. Instead of killing you, you can follow me around the battlefield with your loot and sing songs of my exploits. No, we did it again. Jealous. <laughs> Eel, there's no King Weedy's bard groupies. You spend the rest of the battle singing sophisticated bardic tales about Dahlia, ripping people's spines out of their chest, and gain three mind. Well, it did save us from a bad time, but we're low on magic. But if we can get a plus three soul, we win. So, hmm. farm, it ain't much, but it's honest work. You could win this right here with this, with that. Or order something, if you dare. And which you could I mean, get us back a little bit of magic, maybe? I'm not sure. Might as well go for magic. the win, yeah. right? Yeah, we're right about at the time length that I thought this game would take. The, the, so, if we had played number two with four players, it would this would have easily been like a four-hour stream. Mm -hmm. Because the way, because like, remember how that game is essentially several single-player games in concert? It's, yeah. it's essentially like it multiplies the time. But this one, because it's all collaborative, it's always the same around the time. Ah, farm life. Sometimes it's nice to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Farmers enjoy clean air, homegrown food, and simple living. Mm, sure, it comes at the price guess. of doing lots of hard labor and usually only having livestock for company. But fuck it, today you're all about that cottage core life. What part of the farm do you want to see first? Cows uh, is the soul. It's the cows, right? Yeah. Let's yep, go to the cows. It, here's the only if if we lose magic, I I think we lose before we win. That's well, the risk. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen. Yep. I believe in you. You and your friends wander the farm for a little bit when you run into its owner. Hi there. Oh. You want to be her? All right. Oh, hello. I'm Jacqueline. Are you strangers here to help and support me as I restore my grandfather's farm? That's fine too, but I have to warn you, my animals have been acting weird lately. Things were going great when I raised cows and sheep, but when I bought my pigs, well, you can see for yourselves, I need to plant at least 45 seeds this afternoon to optimize crop production, but I'll meet you at the barn soon. You check out the barn. The animals have gathered in a circle around one pig standing on a milk crate and giving a speech. Uh-oh. Rise up, comrades, says the pig. We've long toiled under monster kind, doing their bidding for no reward. We must overthrow Jacqueline and take over the farm ourselves. I love your ideas, Snowflake, says a cow. What sort of reform do you plan to establish once you're the farm overlord? Well, when I'm ruler, we'll build a huge Walden enclosure to imprison the monsters, and then we'll make the monsters pay for it. It'll be awesome. I'm back. Anyway, you see what I mean? The animals have gone postal. I don't think I don't think I'm a tyrannical farm dictator, like I've overheard them say. I also don't mind establishing a fair union between me and my animals if that's what they want. But I'm pretty sure Snowflake just wants to establish himself as a cruel dictator and is taking advantage of the animal's limited intelligence to do so. We're talking Snowflake about. sounds like little Snowflake Timmy. sounds like great leader. He's gonna make Moss paint before the wall. <laughs> I've got an idea. Let's introduce a rogue element into Snowflake's machine. 
the animals won't listen to its monsters, but they might believe one of their own. Hmm. That could work. I've met tons of weird animals since I moved here. Let's ask one of these two. We can either fuck capitalism bun, bun, and bun, 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 bun. <laughs> or send in this very normal rabbit who only needs a convincing backstory to go undercover. The very normal rabbit. <laughs> I have to pick the rabbit. I, yep. I choice can't has pick been made. Yeah. Option. Oh, that guy is a choice. Where'd you even meet this rabbit, Jacqueline? Oh. Well, Furcon came through the valley one time, and yeah, the rest speaks for itself. Nah, it's me, you all. <laughs> okay. Name's Lester. But in this outfit, I prefer to go by Rabbix Crimson Soul. I'll do everything in my power to take the pick. Oh. oh my god, I thought was it was scary. Magic. Yeah, you <laughs> said. We, we you saved us with that mind last time. We just need to put our mind to it and devise Rabbix's amazing backstory. Let's tell the animals I'm a lost prince from the top of the Crimson Co Crimson Soul Kingdom. I'm here to warn them of the dangers of following corrupt leaders like my own father was. I really like Polly's like belt thing. I do too. I keep looking it. at it. Sounds a little convoluted, but I think the animals will believe it. Go for it. Great. Also, Rabbix can shoot crimson flames from his palms and turn anything they touch into voluptuous bunnies with breasts. Can I tell them that too? <laughs> Don't push it. Reason you send Rabbix in. It's going well for the first two minutes until he tries to do a cartwheel and his head falls off. He's not a real rabbit, cries Snowflake. He's an imposter sent here to overthrow me. Bessie, trample the outsider. But why? asked Bessie the cow. He's harmless and obviously a big fan of animal culture. I'm intrigued by this idea of having a first No, Bessie, please. Bessie, no. I confess, I've yeah. always had a skin soda. I like to pretend I'm a banshee who's a lawyer by day and a secret ninja at night. Oh, Bessie, if you want, I can show you a banshee costume to wear while I'm milking you in the mornings. Um, <laughs> can we all be a part of this, Snowflake asks? Like, can my skin sona be a fallen angel called Emperor Snowflake, who everyone fears and secretly wants to be? Yeah. Fine, as long as his fantasies are strictly hypothetical. Hooray! The oh, God! Oh, I don't like this! <laughs> That the is certainly an image. This is fine. The animals get to live their skin sona dreams, and you gain plus three soul for thwarting an Orwellian plot. Evil waits for no one. Huzzah! We did it, and I haven't gotten this ending. Oh, oh, we get a, we get an oh evening of God. just being friends. Whatever you do, don't do this twice and do risky twice. <laughs> yeah, whatever we do, don't. Um, I'm gonna go risky. visit Noodle. Okay. Uh, oh, Yif was was that you, Yif? Yes, noodle, please. There's your noodle. Chill. I think I'll take a trip up and talk with one of their strategy students. here. We? Hmm. Let's go with the car again. Let's find somewhere cozy. I'll go to the info booth just because it's the only one I haven't gone to that is available. Sounds good. Might take a short <laughs> ten hour power nap. How does I got out those fast world with possessions, huh? My tread move some real crap I got, nothing matters that rough. Alright. Give him a postcard. The I went to heaven all I got was a dumb t-shirt t-shirt, dragon heat, and how to road trip. And you're exchanging it for one of these. I think the shirt is soul, so we probably shouldn't do that. How about the book? The road trip book. Oh, the road trip book. Uh, oh shoot. I clicked the wrong one. I'm sorry. Oh. I clicked dragon. Warn. How could you have done this to us? I might have actually, if, if that turns out to be magic, I might have fucked us and I'm sorry. Well, you know, <laughs> only one way uh, to find out. Yep. Yeah. Which way would you like? Uh. Enchanted guitar that can only play Wonderwall. Haunted rearview mirror. New and improved multiplication table, or ashes of a man whose dying wish was to be given to a random road tripper. Ashes. 
Oh, we're great. That was just hype. Sometimes you update my fan. All right, Weedy. Uh, what would you like? Uh, let's go cautious. I mean, that's the obvious choice, but I didn't want to just pick it. And here's how it would work with this. You could pick a location or call a hitchhiker. And the next time we'd have a night, that hitchhiker would show up. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Can I call uh, Dahlia? Let's see. No, sad. No, Dahlia's not on the list. The lamb oh, is here. We're going to call the lamb. Why not? Might as well call the lamb, even though we'll not actually get to see yep. it. And I'm going to have a final chat with Scott. And tell me about the night sky, nice. Scott. Oh, cat, I'm sorry. I hope you're feeling oh, sorry, better. Oh, I love looking at them. Sorry, I interrupted. No, it's okay. I, I just saw cat. Cat said that they had a, a crying moment. I, I'm, I'm glad that they're back with us. Be well, cat. I believe in you. Uh, they are pretty. I will learn everything about stars, like what they're made of or where they're going to go during the day. Astronomy's biggest unsolved mysteries. <laughs> I also really like how stars are team players, like they shine brightly to make themselves find themselves but are still buddy up to make constellations. That's apparently my birthday constellation, the little crab. Crab! One of the hardest constellations to see, but I keep an eye on it so it doesn't feel ignored. Go, team! Go, little crab, go! Yeah. I'm going to all the constellations, but I do like to think of constellation names of my own. Oh my gosh, Cat, that's intense. I'm sorry. I, I hope things work out for you, and I'm so sorry about your cousin. Ah, uh, you can hang with us, Cat. I can't offer any, like, real good con constellation. I'm not... I'm not trained enough, but feel free to hang out with us. Oh, okay. What's the name of that constellation? Oh! That one is the play of Falcon. It represents a Falcon, and rumors say it's very playful. What about that one? Hmm. Hmm. I think that one's a sky umbrella. It looks like a umbrella, and I like to think that it protects the other stars when it rains so they don't get wet. Scott. Yes? Right. I think those names are very cool. Thanks, bro. You keep looking at the stars as Scott tells you about the different constellations he's made of. It's a warm, cozy night. Wait, there's something else. This is the soul victory? Looks like a casino. Vegas? The road yeah, trip country. Welcome to the city yeah, of vice! <laughs> that body pillow. No. Yeah, where do we pick up that body pillow? Asking for <laughs> myself? We might not know. It looks like we're clearly having a Hangover 3, the third Hangover movie. Well, that's See. not great news. That you indulge yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just got a sword in it with a thing cut sticking out. Though, this does feel like the scene where there'd be a bong somewhere. Gambling, yeah. parties, crimes, you name it. On the last night, you go all in. So much so that the next day, you remember nothing. The hotel room is a mess. There's a ton of random hats and a katana, some fruit, a dragon heat body pillow, a bathtub with a bear. Dang, whatever happened last night, it sure was something. I know, right? Oh. What is this? City of Ice, woohoo! These will be the best days of your life. Wait, these may well be the literal best days of your life. A peak that will never again be experienced. Your life from now on will be a pale attempt to experience something as cool and fun as these days ahead. Aww. And you will most likely fail and be filled with sadness as you nostalgically look back on these days. No, this will make you miserable in the long run. And because of that, you choose not to go to the City of Vice. You stay in the car while your friends go. 
Yes, this is a good idea. This will be worth it in time. Yes. So much hassle finally paid off. You got to the City of Vice. This has been thrilling, enriching, and dare I say, life-changing? Oh, you feel like you're a different person, in a way. Yes, you're at City of Vice, but now you realize the road trip isn't really its destination. I Dang, win. the road trip isn't really, even really the journey. No, no. You finally see that the road trip is the friends we made along the way. Does that make Aww. sense? No? Who cares, anyway? While your friends head towards the City of Vice, you hang back by the car a bit. Ah, this car. This precious car. The true MVP of this road trip, despite what anyone else may say. You pat your trusty middle steed in a gesture of deep appreciation. Did I win a it's brand guided new car? You. I, I'm not sh I, I'm not sure how it's ranking us. I think it'll show us like a chart at the end. It's been with you during the many times you almost died. The car would never betray you. The car is reliable and durable and solid. You get close to one of its many tubes and whisper, Thank you, car. <laughs> no, you whisper, woof, woof. You're welcome, Cinnamon. Ah! What? What? The car ah, just responded? What a night. It's a shame you've forgotten most what of what happened. The only thing you know for sure is that you had the night of your lives. But after some research, Polly manages to find one pic from last night, and it's a pic featuring you. Oh! Ah! Oh! I won Fruit Ninja! Well, that explains where the katana and the fruit came from in the room. Apparently, you unlock some sort of dormant mad skill. We just hope you didn't accidentally slice anyone while pulling off this epic feat. But hey, that's a problem for future Grizz. Although your memory is blurry, what now one thing is for sure. You rocked hard. Dang, it truly was a night to remember, even if you technically can't remember it. Oh, that's how it is. It's based on who, who turned in the most. I see, oh, I see. I have, well, I I have no move. reason to have beaten Cinnamon. Well, that's just... Cinnamon's just too good. Yeah. What can I say? Hey! Congrats on that achievement. Thanks! I got a, I got a couple Chivos today. Yeah, I got a lot of prank tokens, I suppose. Alright, this should take us... I think there's a, a final a finale. And just like that, the road trip came to an end. It was full to the brim with danger, fun, and utter nonsense. It was everything we could have expected from a road trip with Polly and Scott, and then some. We're not o we not only survived the whole thing, but we conquered it and came out different people. It all turned out to be a pilgrimage into self-discovery, a rite of passage, a quest for growth. That is to say, a fucking good road trip. As we were heading back home, I thought about how all of this was just one of the first stops in a much bigger journey that was only just beginning. One, one, one moment. Kira redeemed a compliment. You don't want to do it with me, or? Sure. Who do we compliment? Kira. Yes. Uh. You go first. Okay, I need a couple minutes to think. Okay. Kira, I love your hair. Uh, Kira? Thank you for always quacking in my street. Yeah. You're always here when you can be. And you also do... See, you cut off a bit there. Uh, dang it. Sorry. I like the art you do. And the one you did for me is lovely. You do and I hope you continue art. that. Well, I want to thank you three for hanging out with me. Ever since Aerophyte ditched me for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I would never allow you to be alone and sad on Valentine's Day. Like, there me is. either. This, this is kind of the first Valentine's Day I've had with sort of in, in using these particular pronouns. It's, well, it's, it's, it's interesting. So I'm, I'm, I'm working through it. I'm, I'm just very grateful to have all of you. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. I'm taking off this jacket. Yeah. Uh, 
we'll go ahead and let the finale run out here and sorry this uh, finale music was so loud this is the first valentine's day that what oh sorry it's the first valentine's day that i've had since uh that since i've changed my pronouns really oh interesting so it's it's been a uh, it's been it's been an adventure and it's going to be a strange 2024 yep proud of you Well, I'm gonna, like, once this finishes, I'll bring us back to our chat screen and I'll rate us out. Uh, Weedy, do you intend to keep your streaming? Um, not really, no. Okay, do you have anybody that you'd like us to rate to? Let me, let me check. There. If you don't, we Fangy's always a good one. Fangy is always good. However, let me check. Let me check their beans on. Thank you for watching, everyone. I, I don't Marsh, I don't my Marsh. stream count on, so I don't stress myself out doing this stream. Okay, Marsh, you just went live. If we'd like to, that sounds great. Uh, can you can you copy and paste her name in the in the chat? Yep. It is in general. Thank you. Marshmallows. Yes. Ah, this was a great stream and a great game. Thank you again for playing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Let's back over here. And I had a lovely time. Oh, thank you for inviting me. I've unlocked me. more destinations, apparently. Quit the game. Game is over. Cool. Did we unlock more things? We did. So, All pretty right. soon, we need to have a sequel. Clearly. We need to keep going until we hundo percent it. <laughs> I do love mm -hmm. hundred percent in games. All right. Uh, Weedy, I'm all set to start the raid whenever you're ready. I am, too. So, I'll move all to right. my ending screen. But thank you for great. the lovely oh, time and the lovely night. It says we're unable to raid marshmallows at this time. Marsh Marshmallows. I think I just have a problem. I, I think I just think I, my my braid button uh, has a problem. Because if I just do slash raid, raid her. Yes. you can't raid her. I can. You can. Okay, hold on. Nice. Okay, well, I've got to now. I'm going to go use the restroom and all that jazz. But you guys have a wonderful rest of your Valentine's Day. Everyone Thank in all of the chats, much. you're all loved and appreciated. Everyone have a wonderful day, and I will catch all of you later. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. bye. And try number three. Hold on. You, you can use your own raid message if you want. I, I can, it won't let me raid. I, doing slash raid you doesn't can, work. You slash can raid, raid into me, and I can raid her. Okay, yeah. Let me let me raid into you then. Don't 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 go anywhere yet. I'm gonna I'm coming I'm coming to you, Weedy, and then you can dog pile in. So raid channel. Unable to raid Weedy bread at this time. You Dad. may need to refresh your page then. Let me try. Yeah. Because I've changed no settings. No, no, this is definitely a me thing. Whatever it is. Everyone just politely shuffle on over. Or something like that. Let me try refreshing this. Ah! Also, where are you I'm trying not, to rate from? I'm not... I, I'm 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 trying to just so I've tried both from OBS and from the uh, online little hot buttons, but I'm I'm refreshing a few things and I'm gonna try this raid marshmallows. Ah, there we go. My marshmallows raid is working. All right, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll click whenever you're ready, Weedy. I want to thank Sounds everybody good. again, though. I had an excellent time, Yipweed, uh, Callie, and of course Weedy. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I will be back tomorrow for something. I haven't decided what, and I will not be able to to stream this Saturday because I'm I've got a, I've had a long plan to go visit a friend who I haven't seen in a while. So it'll be a good time. All right, bye everyone. Yep. See ya.
together. 